Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. Message for Aquarius for the week. Message for Aquarius. Okay, didn't want to fall. That's on the table, please. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you for the week. What does Aquarius need to hear the most? Thank you. Oh, I love Grace. There's definitely an energy of blessings here. We have number 20, Grace. Grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me to set me free. So being given some grace or blessing. And then we have number 24, magical powers. And we have the phoenix, you know, uh, rising from the ashes here. I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic secrets to me now show. This is about manifesting something. It feels like rising from the ashes of the old here. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius, please? Okay, be assertive, take action. If there's something that you've been thinking about taking action towards but haven't yet, this magical powers energy is very much a card of action, um, inspiration, focused, intent, um, because, you know, there is a reason to be assertive this week. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards as I always do and then we'll clarify Aquarius and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. Message for Aquarius please, angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aquarians, 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, the star, this is your card. It's a card of Aquarius in the challenge position. Also a card of blessings. Page of cups. Five of cups. Okay, that card just flew out. So we have the Hermit, card of Virgo. Advice from Spirit, I have the Lovers with the Page of Cups. And the Five of Cups, Aquarius, we have the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Fool. There has been some healing that you've been experiencing. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships here, Aquarius. Um, the Hermit is a card of healing, introspection. It can be removing yourself, sometimes getting that alone time to take time to heal, reflect, restore, overcome any internal blocks from within, raise your vibration and understand how you now need to take action in your external environment. The Hermit card is a card of making some sound judgment call but it comes when you've done the inner work. So there's almost like an energy of you've been healing, finding answers, getting perspective and it definitely feels with that star there's new hope um star is a card of hope it can be also you know an energy where you might have lost hope lost faith um been dealing with something that you needed to heal from for whatever reason there is definitely this energy of coming back to yourself raising your vibration from within coming back to you 
but it feels like you've been going through some kind of process here yeah but this is a card of blessings from the universe you know you know as this person walks on water you're being told to believe in miracles so it's a lovely lovely energy you know celestial being walks on water i should say okay so we have the page of cups and the lovers because there's a possibility with somebody new the page of cups is i'm just going to explore this and give it a go um yes it can be to do with a message of love but if it is, it's at its most infancy, you know, the pages haven't learned or mastered the skill set of the cup energy. So there's definitely an energy of there's somebody new here. There is a new relationship being formed that has great potential, great possibility. And this is about just giving it a go. Things are looking up. It comes after a period of healing and coming back to yourself but there's definitely an energy that you're ready you're ready for something new the pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so i'm definitely getting in this energy here aquarius that you have been healing you have been coming to terms with the situation um but spirit is telling you that new love is coming your way this is harmony um two people who match who aren't the same as each other but match each other perfectly it's almost kind of like the energy of um what is that message of uh ev everybody has imperfections but it's whether you're perfect for each other this is that energy of whatever this is however you're different from each other you match each other perfectly you fit like a jigsaw that is that lover's energy and this lovely page of cups it feels there's such possibility here again this can be a message of love um but it definitely feels in this energy feels very much in this energy that there is new love on the cards here the eight of wands is moving forward forward movement um it feels in this situation there is an opportunity to move on now and liberate and this is liberation the full card is li liberating energy and ready to explore new possibilities ready to dive straight in uh, the fool is in a state of readiness i'm ready to take that leap of faith i'm ready to take that chance i'm ready to go for something um, he's a free spirit energy so it feels for some of you something has got you down the five of cups can be a card of um loss uh, it feels to do with the relationship here aquarius loss regrets looking back um focusing on the negative but there's such potential around you that you're not seeing and this is about moving forward towards that towards diving into new possibilities now and that is what the eight of wands is it is a card of forward movement so it, it feels in this energy you're liberate there is an opportunity to liberate from something it feels to it feels some kind of like relationship loss or regrets or looking back in a relationship wanting to change something but you can't change the past and there's this new energy coming in of i'm ready to move forward now i have focused on the past enough and i'm ready to you know manifest something new i'm ready to rise from the ashes of the old and move forward and have new conversations make new connections i mean this can be things like online dating uh, networking groups obviously some of us are social distancing so still um opening up to new connections here because you're ready to move forward and there's definitely an energy of when you do this is an energy of out with the old in with the new shedding an old skin um the phoenix is is a wonderful energy of i'm rising again having purged the old the old that i don't need anymore i'm releasing and i'm ready to embrace the new possibilities and the page is bringing in the new possibility of new pure 
beautiful, connected love. So it's coming your way. It could be with a Gemini. Uh, other cards on the table, we have Virgo here. So very nice energy. This is blessings. You're, you're receiving a blessing here. And it feels that you're being aligned. However this is happening for you, you're being aligned to this new relationship. And see great potential with this new person. There could be a new conversation starting here. I'm seeing this Gemini energy. Um, a new conversation with somebody here where you're seeing some possibility, some great potential. And you think, I'm going to give it a go and see where it leads me. And it's a light-hearted energy. Having gone through this heavy energy, this is a really nice light-hearted energy of it coming in. Okay, so let's pull a final card, Aquarius. I love this energy. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm going to try and say this properly because every time I see this card I say squirrel maintenance. No, it's not. It's squirrel spiritual maintenance. <laughs> Be your own caretaker. Squirrel. Squ squirrel spiritual maintenance. <laughs> Be your own Be your own caretaker, Aquarius. Yes. <laughs> And this is also stocking up on what is bringing value into your life, isn't it? You know, uh, take putting your energy into what is going to be worthwhile, what is going to pay dividends. You know, it's that kind of energy. Yeah, love. I love it. We've got the flamingo unity heart. You're ready. You are being called on to work on collective healing, but this unity heart, it feels like this is your healing. You're coming together again. Any lack that you might have experienced, your vibration is raiding, and you're just ready. You're ready, ready, ready for the new. This is a great anticipating energy. I am just ready for it now. I'm turning the page. Yeah, so beautiful, beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all, and I will see you next time. Thank you.